All right, you guys, here we have another Jet Motors Turbo Kit install. This is our friend Edwards Mini, and this is a Mark I with a 1300A+. Plus, uh, and it just went really well. This is a really nice install. Um, we put some pretty cool stuff on it. Um, we did have to change the ignition. We wanted to go with the Protronix igniter so we could set it around, I think Paul said it, between 17 to 20 degrees, full advance, uh, without the vac disconnected. Disconne uh, um, we've reprofiled the needle. Uh, we got a good 11 and a half to one fuel right now and uh, it's running really well. Come here, I wanna show you the exhaust that we did to this. Um, this is the side exit DTM exhaust with a two inch front pipe directly from the turbo down pipe to a single can, single box, and it sounds really good. Um, I'll take you guys for a ride so you get to hear what this sounds like, but uh, let's go for a ride in another Jet Motors turbo kit. Okay, you guys, you ready for a Another ride along in a Jet Motors turbo powered mini. Here we go. We'll see how cold starts. Hey, I hadn't started it. No, it's cold. Ice cold. Well, ambient cold. Hey, that's pretty nice. I do want to build a little heat in it first. While we do that, let's talk about the shifter. So what I did for Edward here was I gave him a, a standard uh, short shifter or quick shift. I think the shifts are shorter, not quicker, but anyway, they call it a quick stick. Uh, and I put an angled shift extension on it and this really cool shift knob. Now these are from Specialist Components. We stock them here and this is my favorite. This, I mean, check out this driving position because I also did a suede Momo Mod 07 steering wheel here and Edward's fairly tall and um, I gotta say, I like that name a lot. Jeremy Edward Thorpe. If you didn't know what Jet Motors stood for, that's what it is, it's my name. Um, okay, we've got a dished Momo suede steering wheel, very comfortable driving positions. My arms are slightly bent and the shifter is within a close, quick reach and it's just wonderful. So anyway, still building some heat in it. So this is a Mark I Mini, but as you saw, I just lift it up on the stick to put it in reverse, right? Well, that means it's a rod change. So it's a late model 1300 A plus motor in a Mark I Mini with a Jet Motors turbo kit on it. And listen to how quiet and nice it is in here. And uh, we're gonna build some boost today. And you'll see what these little kits can do. now. We're only running eight pounds of boost in this. And it makes plenty of power without damaging or hurting the engine. Um, that's really important. You know, we didn't want to sell these turbo kits to people and then have them blow their engine up. That's not the goal here. Now, if you want to, you can. All you got to do is uh, adjust the uh, blow off valve, not the blow off valve, the wastegate, sorry. All you gotta do is adjust the wastegate rod and crank yourself up 20, 30 pounds of boost, make a couple hundred horsepower and blow your motor up. Go for it. Sure, if you wanna do a real dyno run, um, go ahead and crank it up and do your dyno run and brag about your numbers. We could do that, but we don't. Again, we wanna show you real world uh, dyno numbers with low boost levels, keeps down the heat, and uh, just allows you to have a really nice power adder without breaking your engine. So it's nice going up hills, getting on the freeway, uh, 60, 70 miles an hour, you lean into the throttle and it just takes off. I mean, it really starts to pull hard. Um, that's the best part about this. So again, uh, a nice power adder. Boy, that sounds good. <laughs> that does not get old. I'm telling you, that is wonderful. Uh, every turbo kit we've sold and every report that we've gotten back from everybody that's either put one on themselves or one that we've done has reported back, that is awesome. I am so glad I did that. You guys really hit it out of the park. This has been fun. 
So Eric Newland just drove his turbocharged Woody wagon all the way to Santa Maria, California, and he took the long way. He put about a thousand miles on it, drove his turbocharged 998 Woody wagon all the way to California, drove it for a week down there, uh, won first place. I think it was because of that turbocharger. I don't think anybody had ever seen anything so clean and sanitary and turbocharged in a woody wagon before. So we got first place. Hang on. I got it. I'm sorry. I had to do that for myself. Um, so all, to all total, he had probably put about 3,000 miles on his... I mean, we had just put the turbo on and said, okay, Eric, go. And so he did. He headed out to Southern California. Well, not quite Southern, almost. Um, and had no issues, very reliable, works great. Um, so a question we get a lot is, well, if I bolt your turbo kit to, our, to my Mini, uh, will it make lots of heat? Is it gonna increase the, the temperature? Am I gonna have a problem in California, Arizona, Texas? Uh, listen. It doesn't make any more heat than normal. Only under boost are you making additional heat. So let's say you're cruising on the freeway and you're just light on the throttle. Well, you're not making any boost at all. So it's, it's, it doesn't change, uh, it, it doesn't increase the heat level. Again, let's say you're going up a big steep hill and you're on the throttle and you're making tons of boost and you don't get out of it. Well, maybe you don't have a choice because you're going up a big hill. Yes, you're gonna make more heat. Um, but that's easily rectified by either uh, changing your coolant ratio or increasing your coolant capacity, maybe an oil cooler. Uh, there's lots of things you can do. Hang on, it's a big hill. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, again, these turbo kits are a blast. If you, have, if you don't have one, order one. You won't regret it. Um, we've had excellent success so far. Not one failure, uh, and we haven't broke a motor yet. So, um, again, I don't think we will because, again, eight pounds of boost, uh, that's not a lot. And, but it sure feels like a lot. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but th this car just accelerated really nice. It's really comfortable. I'm kind of letting it spool down. Go ahead and let the oil uh, circulate through the turbo, maybe cool it off a little bit. Um, but that's it. That was fun. I enjoyed putting that turbo on. I enjoyed tuning it. I enjoyed driving it, and you will too. So uh, why don't you go to the go to JetMotorsMini.com and order yourself a turbo kit? All right. We'll see you on the next one.